All day you have been seeing stories on vaping crisis in Wisconsin, and we've shown how one puff can affect your lungs. You also learned how schools are combating the problem. Tonight we're talking with the local doctors. They were the first to sound the alarm on a nationwide problem. The I-team's Casey Geraldo tells us how they pieced a puzzle together. The doctors tell me there's no good reason healthy kids should end up in the intensive care unit with machines helping them breathe. So when it happened several times this summer, the doctors went looking for a link. These are healthy teenage lungs. And these lungs are what doctors at Children's Wisconsin started seeing this summer. But inside her pediatric clinic on July 11th, Dr. Jennifer Schreiber couldn't see her patient's lungs. She could see something was wrong with her otherwise healthy, athletic 18-year-old patient. She was a grayish blue color. It was terrifying. We sat down with Dr. Schreiber in that same room her patient sat, barely breathing. She was breathing so fast that at some point she was going to possibly stop breathing. Dr. Schreiber and her colleagues called 911. An ambulance came and took the teen to Children's. Within an hour, she was in the pediatric intensive care unit with machines helping her breathe. Dr. Schreiber's patient was actually our sixth patient, I think, is um, as we put the numbers together with it. Dr. Mike Meyer runs the pediatric intensive care unit at Children's. He and his team started seeing teenagers with breathing problems at the beginning of June. They noticed similarities as teenager after teenager came through these doors. By early July, the doctors realized this issue wasn't infectious. But they didn't know what it was. She got confused with which patient was which because the stories were all identical to each other. The doctors went looking for answers. Whenever we admit a patient to the hospitals, we've got this detailed checklist of things that we go through because the story about the disease actually may tell you more than the symptoms that the patient is displaying. The patient's stories revealed one commonality. All of these cases had vaping associated with them, and we, from a public health perspective as well as from an education perspective, we needed to raise that alarm. Very quickly, we started getting phone calls um, from our peers across the country because they started seeing it. And I think that was the piece that was amazing, is first, it wasn't just here, but we sounded the warning. We didn't know where it was going to go, and we still don't. You know, the, the cases are rising every week. So, um, so I would say it was overwhelming, it was sad, um, and we were getting ready for, for more to come. What was so overwhelming and sad about this? The fact that these were healthy teens and, and they're in the hospital during the summer um, due to something that could have been prevented. Should kids who are doing this be scared? Yes, they should.